My dudes, welcome back. You guys made it absolutely clear in that first video that you guys wanted a part two. So welcome to part two. This is gonna be all about chopping. As always, don't have a lot of time, so let's get into it. All right, boys, so part one is gonna be the gear. So going into it, you're going to be looking for the witch's hat, and that's going to give you a 10% chopping efficiency. You're going to look for the furled robes. That's going to give you another 10% chopping efficiency. You're going to look for the bleach designer woad patch pants for another 5% chopping efficiency. And the logger heels. Those are going to give you a plus 20 chopping efficiency. It was brought up in my last video that not a lot of people can make the dawn stopwatch, which is completely fine. Uh, if you can, I would recommend the Dawn Stopwatch over the Serrated Rex Ring. You can get the base Rex Ring from Dungeons. You will need to unlock a recipe in order to create the upgraded Rex Rings. But if you can, those are a solid, you know, 2 times 8% skill efficiency for a total of 16%. Again, if you can make it, I would recommend the Dawn Stopwatches. Part two is the food. When it comes to ch uh, chopping, there's not a lot of options as far as getting bonuses from food. You can use the saucy log fries for a 31.4% uh, swing speed or chopping speed. If you did do the event, there is the chog nog, which will give you uh, chopping bonuses as well, but that's only a bonus event food. Part three, miscellaneous equips. You can use the gift miss snoozy camp if you have it for that 10% all AFK gain the angel wings for a plus 11 percent all afk gain and again just like in mining i highly recommend the blunder hero for another three percent skill afk gain part four is going to be the alchemy you're going to want to look into the purple cauldron you're going to look at the first bubble stable genius that is just for your base total wisdom you're going to look for mage's best again for that 1.86 purple passive bonuses so the small bubbles giving a higher bonus you're going to look for Hocus Choppus. Gives a chopping efficiency per power of 10 max P that your character has. You're going to go into that a little bit more, more a little bit later on. You're going to look for Multo Logo. That is for your chop chance increased by 79% for the multi-log. And the max multi-log chance is now 300% instead of 100%. If you're still trying to level up your chopping, you're going to look for the fifth bubble. That's going to give you a 38% chopping and alchemy XP gain. You're going to look for Labrain Tools. That's going to give you a percent more skilling power than normal on your Hatchet and Worship Skulls. You're going to look for the Smart Boy Talent. Again, that's just going to give you more talents to be able to put into your build. And second to last is your Severa Purple. So that's going to give you, a at my level, a 1.85 times higher bonus than what is displayed on a lot of the bonuses that we're looking for. And then if you're capable of doing it, I'm not very good at the Clash of, Can, uh, Clash of Cans, which is the worship in World 4. But if you can, Tree Sleeper is obviously a very good because it's going to give you a 0.29% chopping AFK gain rate. Part 5 is the talents. We're going to be trying to max out smart efficiency as much as possible. I'm going to look over at active AFK. That's for your all AFK gain rate for specialized skills increased by 16%. You're going to put as many points into Book of the Wise as possible. And then you're going to cap off on Mana Booster to increase that max mana like I explained in Alchemy. Our chopping efficiency is based off of max mana, so we're trying to get that as high as possible. Going into the Mage Talent Book, we're going to go straight into the Mana Overdrive, again, for max mana. Log on Logs for 17 minutes, tree drops drop 300% more logs than normal. That's where a bulk of all these logs are going to be coming from. You're going to look to Leaf Thief. So depending on how many uh, grass leaves you have on a power of 10, that's going to increase your chopping efficiency by 17.1%. As you can see, I have 77% bonus. Deforesting All Doubt, solid bonus. It's going to uh, increase your effect that the Wisdom has on your chopping efficiency by 113%. You don't need to put points into Inner Peace. I just have extra points, so I did. But this is for XP gain of all specialized skills. If you like to use the minigame, 153% uh, minigame rewards and damage based off of your highest score. Not important for this build, but if you have extra points, why not? You're going to put points into Individual Insight, again for base wisdom. Untwisted Robes 
for all equipment giving you 227% wisdom than what is listed and food just because again I had extra points going into the shaman tab you're gonna put points into occult obols to give you more wisdom per obol than normal you're gonna look at stupendous statues that's gonna increase the XP and the lumber bot by 76% more and then Wiz Wumbo to give us a higher max talent level for the Book of the Wise in tab one. On your Bubonic Conjurer, you're going to look at Skull Wiz. So Wisdom has a 40% larger impact on skill efficiency and a base 78% Wisdom. Utmost Intellect, that's going to give us a 9.19% Wisdom and another 158 max talent level for the Book of the Wise. If you have the points, you're going to go into the Family Guy to give us a 20.8% larger bonus than what is displayed to increase our all stat bonus. And then again, if you do have those extra points, I would recommend Symbols of Beyond. That's gonna give you plus eight levels for all talents higher than level one, and there's just a solid all around bonus. <clears throat> if you have a high level character, I would recommend putting points into Will of the Eldest for the plus one all stats. TikTok for the plus 4.23% away, away gains for both fighting and skills. <clears throat> toilet paper postage to give us a 1.19 higher bonus for our skill efficiency stamps we're going to look at getting our printer sampling as high as humanly possible super source plus 108 base efficiency for all skills and action frenzy for a plus 29 percent speed for all skills part six is going to be the post office obviously we're going to try and max out taped up timber as much as humanly possible then we're going to come up to Magician Starter Pack for a 134%, I'm sorry, 134 base max MP and plus 37.5% max MP. Again, that funnels into our max MP, which increases our chopping efficiency. If you do have the points, as always, I recommend putting it into the Myriad Crate for the base all stat and base all efficiency. Part 7 is going to be your prayers. As in the mining video, I recommend the skill dimwit because we're not going for a skill XP gain. We're going for as much skill efficiency as possible. At 102, that's going to help us out quite a bit. And then the royal sampler, which is going to give us a plus 20% 3D printer size and a minus 39% all XP gain. Part 8 is the World 3 Merit Shop. As in the first video, not as important is the food talent purchase because since there's not a lot of food bonuses for chopping, I would recommend putting it first into your percent printer sample size per purchase. Again, at 10 purchases, that is a 5% base increase. And then I would put whatever points I had left over into the max possible level of talent books, just so you have a higher talent in order to level up that build. Part nine is the salt lick. Again, the first bonus that you unlock are samples taken for the 3D printer are percent bigger. I would recommend maxing that out because you would get a solid 10% increase. And again, I would recommend the last bonus at the very bottom for a plus 18 max level for talent books from the library. When that is completely maxed out, that'll give you a plus 20, and that's just going to increase the, uh, the build and how much efficiency you're going to get. Part 10 is going to be cooking and lab. As in the mining video, I would recommend the corn for the 44% 44, 44 skill efficiency. I would then recommend the sour, not the, I'm sorry, not the sour fish. I would recommend the rice ball for a pretty bulky 33% skill efficiency gain. And the leak at level 12, giving us a 24% skilling prowess. Skilling prowess essentially means that the bonus needed to hit the next multiplier is lower. And the fortune cookie, just so you can flesh out your build a little bit faster and it gives a, a, us a 44% faster library checkout speed. Going down into the lab, same as before, would recommend trying to get down to the certified book stamp. That's all stamps except for the miscellaneous tab stamps are gonna give double the bonus, as well as my first chemistry set. All vials and alchemy will give double the bonus. And for the console, we're gonna be looking to equip with the 15% skilling AFK gain rate. Again, with the bonuses of all active star signs. The double the miscellaneous bonus of the currently equipped trophy. So instead of 3%, our trophy will give us 6% skill AFK gain rate. Two of the 20% total skilling efficiency for all skills. And the double bonus of cards equipped in the top left slot and the bottom right slot. Part 11 is going to be the star signs. Just as it is in the first video, we're going to go for the hipster logger. 
That's going to give us a 5% chop efficiency and a 20% multi-log chance. The big comatose for a plus 2% skill AFK gain. Going to go into the hydron section. We're going to go for the comatose major. That's another 4% skill AFK gain. Since we do have the lab chip that gives us double star signs, this is an 8%. This is four, and then this is a 10% chopping efficiency and a 20% multi-log chance. Part 12 is gonna be your cards. This is just a recommendation, but again, you would want to put your top left card and your bottom right card like mine, just because we're gonna get double that bonus. For the first card, you're gonna look for normal Amarok. That's gonna give you a plus 12% skill AFK gain rate. If you have in the top left or the bottom right slot and you do have that chip, this is a 24% skill AFK gain rate multiplier. Then we're going to go up to Bunny. Again, this is a 5% skill AFK gain rate. It is collected from trapping. Then we're going to go to the Saharan Full. Saharan Full is going to give you a 5% chopping away gain. Go to the Bleach Lock for a 25% total chopping efficiency. Then we're going to go down to the Tropolog the palm tree which gives us a 10% chopping away gain and then in world 4 if you have unlocked it we're going to be looking for the alien tree for a 24% total chopping efficiency as well as the cube tree for 14% chopping speed and then last but not least down in the boss tab we're going to be looking for the chaotic troll that is 50% all skill efficiency if in the bottom right slot or the top left slot that is going to give us a 100% all skill efficiency I recommend it because you've hit the break point where uh, you wouldn't hit the next cap if you've maxed my build or match my build. I would go for another 6% skill AFK gain rate over a 24% skill efficiency. Part 13 is going to be putting it all together. We're going to get our before and then we're going to go get our after. So starting off, we're looking at 57.2 thousand for our regular logs. We're looking at 20.6 thousand for our forest fibers. For our forest trees, we're looking at 26.3 thousand. Our bleach logs, we're looking at 37.8 thousand. And for our potty logs, we're looking at 12 thousand an hour. So let's see what we can do now. Okay, so putting this all together, we're gonna first use our talent, which is gonna give us that 300%. Looking at our AFK info, we're at 173% AFK gain rate and expected to get 1,483,154 logs an hour. So if we go off of our before, which is 57.2 thousand, our new is, what is that? I, I believe that was over a million. 1,026,036 is our new record. Going over to our bleach logs, our old record was 37.8 thousand. We are now looking at 653,684. We're now at our old friend, the disappearing tree, the forest tree. Our old record was 26.3 thousand. Now looking at 450,959. For the forest fiber tree, we were looking at 20.6 thousand. We're now looking at 339,253. Last but not least, we are at the potty log tree. Our old record was 12,000. We're now looking at 190,313. Bonus tip at the end of the video. If you did not see the first one, I would recommend leveling up a maestro. We are able to get these large gains because as in the first video, our maestro is a higher level than ours. So he has a level 57 chopping where this character only has level 46. That gives us another 90% skill efficiency which as you can see adds to these astronomical gains that we just received so i would highly recommend getting a maestro and you know putting forth the effort to get him to a higher level than whichever character you want to go get these samples on the second tip is this is an idle game don't expect to get results overnight hopefully this video does help you to get to where you need to be but don't you know put yourself down if you're not you know getting a million logs an hour like we just got okay it might take some time but i know for a fact you're going to get there but that's going to do it for today boys please like the video if it helped you comment if you have any other tips that you'd like to see me put into the video and uh if i helped you uh, please feel free to subscribe but that's going to be all for me today boys hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and i'll catch you in the next one